Yay! Hello! And welcome to my posing panel 201! Yay! Uh, this time we're going to be focusing on how to pose with props, so like bags and parasols, as well as a little bit more tips about how to take really good close-up photos. Um, so welcome, finger guns! Uh, but first, uh, why I'm extremely qualified for this panel, why you should listen to me. Uh, my name is Plentiful Pie. Uh, I have three qualifications. Uh, first, I have 20 years plus experience of owning a human body, human body, with a fully posable skeleton. I mean, look at those experiences, right? I mean, that's gotta count for something. Uh, I have an Instagram. It is Plentiful Pie. Uh, go follow that. Trying to hit that 1,000 follower mark. Uh, Try to get it last time. Didn't get it, but this time I have a good feeling. We're gonna hit that 1,000 mark. Uh, give me some of that clout. And as you know, if you have an Instagram, you're an Instagram model. So there you go. Uh, lastly, and most importantly, I've done this before, and I'm going to do it again. That's right. Um, I did the posing panel last time for Ursa Major. It was a posing panel 101. Um, but as a special gift for all of you, you get free content. That's right. There's a QR code right there. I'm going to put the link in the chat right now. Mod, feel free to spam that. Limited time only. I'm only going to keep it up for as long as I don't feel embarrassed about having that content up there. Uh, it is a little bit choppy because of some uh, streaming, some internet connection issues, but it is all cut right there. Get that free content. Watch one panel. Get one free. Watch it after this panel. Don't watch it right now because uh, you'll miss this one. But free content, free panel just for you. Watch one, get one free. Scan with your phones now. Go, go get that scan. Get that free content. Rare drop. Limited drop only. Just right there. Limited drop. Yeah. Yeah, follow for that drop. There we go. But there is no more, actually. That's that's all the content I have. Uh, that that's it. Um, so yeah. Uh, well, welcome. Oh, that's that's gonna. Uh, I'm gonna mute that. <laughs> it's gonna that that fall. Uh, fall is gonna drive me crazy. All right. And without further ado, let's get started. Um, as a quick review for people who missed the 101 panel, just a few things that I'll be referencing uh, throughout today. Um, in the 101 panel, uh, mostly I talked about um, checking four sections, uh, your legs and feet, your body, and then your hands, and then your head. Um, so checking these four things before you're posing. And uh, one important thing is you want to create a line with your body, either if it's like a curve, so like this, so you have kind of a curve, or is it, or maybe it's a more of like an S line. Uh, so something like that uh, to create the line of your body would make your pose look a little bit cuter and more dynamic. Um, and last thing is to step into your pose. Uh, so be right before the person takes the picture, you know, step into the pose uh, right as they are uh, about to take the picture. That will make your picture uh, look a little bit more natural, uh, make your posing a little bit more natural, as opposed to trying to hold one pose for an extended period of time. So for legs and feet, uh, main thing is to accentuate the shape of the garment. Um, for J fashion, for Lolita fashion, um, there is that poof. So when you're uh, posing, you want to accentuate that poof. Um, I have an empire waist, like a baby doll waist right now. So for me, actually, a pigeon toe would look actually okay um, for that. But um, usually, if you have like a more uh, just waist, like a more of a cupcake style poof, um, you would want to maybe, uh, maybe not a pigeon toe, maybe something that's more like a cross. So that to, to kind of slim down your leg line so that you can accentuate that poof a little bit more. Um, damn, she <laughs> I need to stop reading the comments. <laughs> um, yeah, so, uh, so try to uh, think about, you know, the shape of your garment uh, really affects how your legs are going to look. Um, for the body, uh, a lot of times people just have a square to the camera. Actually, you can do a lot of things with it. You can kind of tilt towards the camera or kind of lean away. So here, I can lean away from the camera a little bit or I could uh, go towards the camera a little bit. So just something that have a little bit more interesting angle to make yourself look a little bit more 3D. 
for arms and hands, uh, the main thing is just to avoid awkward angles. So a lot of times I see people try to do the hand on face and they do it like this which to me looks really awkward because you have a square angle here and then also here as well. So what I recommend is trying to smooth it out. So try to elongate your uh, wrist. So kind of thinking from your elbow to your fingers instead of just your wrist to your fingers. So thinking like making a straight line here and then, and then posing from there. That would look a little bit better and a little bit less awkward. Um, mostly because many people think, oh, I'm going to pose with my hand on my face and you're just thinking about the hand but actually this part this whole arm is the more visible part so you want to think more about how you're going to angle your elbow and your shoulder rather than just your hand um, lastly for your head uh, you can do a lot of things you could tilt you can tilt it sideways tilt sideways look up look down you can look away you can look up top look down um, just uh, try different things to see what angle works best for you and uh, fits the theme of the photo. So, next thing. Uh, props. Okay, so for today I'm going to go through these five props. Uh, bags, parasols, hats, uh, your fluffy friend, and chairs. Uh, these are the things that I'm going to go over uh, uh, on how to pose with them. Uh, first, for bags, uh, main thing for bags is make sure you don't uh, squash your dress. So a common thing, I've done this before. Um, I have a bag and I pose with it and it was like pushing all the way on my dress. Uh, it's not really the fault of the petticoat or anything. It's just the way that you angle the bag. Um, so for example, I have, I have a handbag or a shoulder bag. Yeah, or sorry, handbag first. So I have a handbag uh, right here. And um, a lot of times I see people do this, which I don't particularly like because nobody really holds a bag like this when they're out walking. So what I recommend is just um, hanging, which is just kind of down low. Um, another thing though is that you notice the angle of my arm is that it is actually a little bit more out it is not straight down because this way it will be splashing the dress so i'm actually holding it like this but you can't see it from the front so i'm holding it a little bit more out here or if you want you could uh, hook it with your wrist as well um, so this is a hanging low one um, you can also put it in the crook of your arm so um, usually people put it right in the elbow joint but actually what happens is that you end up doing this and then you just have like a fist bump, kind of like a whole arm here. Um, so what I re recommend is putting it actually a little bit off, a little bit more forward. So it forces uh, so that you can't do this because you have to balance your back kind of on this spot. So that here your arm will be a little bit more loose and a little bit... Um, also it, it keeps the back a little bit more away from your body so that it doesn't squash on your dress. So you have like this. Um, as for your free hand, um, I have nails, so this is really easy. But if you don't have nails, you still want to pose like you have beautiful nails. So what I recommend is think of like holding a pen. So like this is how you hold a pen and then just take the pen away and that's the shape of your hand. So this is a very elegant, really easy uh, way instead of just a closed fist. So think like you're holding a pencil and then take the pencil away and then you can pose your bag really easily like that. Um, one thing with uh, all the bag poses is that you want to choose to highlight your bag or you want to choose to sideline your bag. Um, a lot of times people kind of have something in between. So their bag is kind of the focus, but not really. So if you're going to kind of show off your bag, so make sure it, that, that it is really in front. So you can lean, turn your body a little bit to kind of highlight the back a little bit more. Um, or if you want to focus on your dress, for example, you can sideline your bag, meaning, you know, put the back a little bit more to the side, kind of facing uh, that way, so that the back is not the main focus, but instead it's on something else uh, in the shot. Uh, same thing with the hanging one. So if you want to focus on your bag, you know, put it, put it right in front, maybe even a little bit more towards the center. I don't really like this too much because it covers uh, your legs, but um, if you want to focus on your bag, you can do that. So kind of put it more towards the front. If you want to sideline it, you know, then just hold it like you would normally hold a bag. Uh, the only difference is that, um, how do I show this? 
I'm tucking my elbow in a little bit and then taking the putting the arm out so that the, the bag isn't squashing my dress. So I'm putting my elbow towards my body as much as possible and then putting this out so that uh, the bag isn't squashing my dress. Like that. Okay. Uh, the same thing goes for uh, shoulder bags. So I have a shoulder bag here. Um, I'll do it this way. That's fine. Um, it's, a, it's basically the same if you have it over the, uh, across the shoulder as well. Um, this is a really good pose uh, for... I actually put this pose for people who don't know how to pose. This is the pose I, that I usually put them in, is that I take their thumb and then I put them a uh, hook through the strap, okay? And then put the rest of their fingers on the back. Um, this way you can still show off your rings and show off all that stuff um, uh, easily. And then again, you know, the other hand, uh, they can just you know, put out the dress or something or put it by the face. But either way, this is a e really easy pose to do, to hook through the strap. And again, you can choose to highlight the back. So you want to turn your body a little bit, turn your body uh, so that you're showing off the dress, showing off the bag, or you can choose to sideline it. So kind of putting it more to the side. Um, again, put, you know, tugging the elbow in as much as possible. So this is a really easy one. Another one is if they're really nervous, sometimes I just suggest them to, to highlight the bag and then put both hands together on the strap. Um, this looks fine and it looks cute with the, with the bag as well. Okay. Cool. Hey. <laughs> Those are people who can't pose. <laughs> Yeah, if you, don't, if you can't pose, I highly recommend uh, getting a shoulder bag. Um, there is a Q&A time after this, so I'm sorry I can't read all the chat fast enough. Um, I did paint my nails for today, so these are a set I made just for today. So yay. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Uh, next. This is next. Yes. Uh, next is a parasol. So very common uh, accessory. Uh, if it's closed, um, you can always just have it kind of hanging down low here. Um, or you can put it through uh, your wrist. So kind of hanging it on your wrist and then putting it in front. This is very old school. This is how they carried it in all the old school photos. It's putting it on the wrist like this. Um, you can put it on the kind of the crook of the arm. Can you do that? Yeah, you, if you want to put it like a little bit more into the middle of your arm, that's fine too. That's not that bad. And also it keeps it away from the poof so that it doesn't squash it down too much. Um, if you're in OG or aristocrat or like, uh, you know, more men style with like pants, uh, definitely use it as a cane. So, so I love to do like this, this with it. Uh, when I'm in pants, it looks much better. Uh, that is another whole panel for posing uh, with pants. <laughs> posing with pants. Yes, posing with pants, zero one. That's what I'm going to do. So uh, it looks really cool with the, to uh, use it like a cane. Um, next is uh, open. So I'm going to open this parasol. If there's a rain god, please forgive me for the sins I'm about to commit. Okay, cool. Okay, I'm going to open the parasol indoors. Um, so when it's open, uh, the classic one is over the shoulder. Over the shoulder, like this. So you can you hold the parasol here and then put it over the shoulder, like that. Um, again, uh, you can choose to highlight it, so you know, look, like showing more of the stuff or kind of have it more of the, as a background, so which is also fine. So this over the shoulder. Uh, you can hold it with both hands. Again, good pose for people who are nervous. So they put their both hands onto the thing and that's fine. Uh, for, main thing for that is watch your elbows. Sometimes people do this, which is not very aesthetic. So make sure to keep your elbows down, kind of tucking them by your body. Uh, that actually also helps accentuate your poof as well. So keeping the elbows down, keeping both hands, uh, turn your body slightly, and then you can look at the camera. So this is a really easy pose for uh, if you're really nervous about posing. <laughs> Can't go wrong with that. Um, 
And then the last one is up, up and away. If you're feeling really creative, you can do the whole like, like I'm flying away, you know, like here. Uh, for this one, it's good if you're, you can put this on a little bit lower. And also if you look up and also just imagine like, at, like the top of your head connected to like the middle of the parasol. Like imagine that's like the same line and thinking that you're pulled that way, uh, it'll look you, it'll actually give a better uh, illusion. You can look at that as well. Cool. So you can do that. Need good balance, yes. Um, there are, uh, uh, in the 101 panel, there are some more advanced poses where it's on one leg and definitely need good balance for those. Here you go. Here's the link to the posing panel one. Uh, next thing is bag plus parasol. Uh, this is just gonna take a little bit, take a little bit of uh, finessing. So let's say you have a shoulder bag, um, and you have an open parasol. Yeah, if you have open parasol. So I gotta open this again. Rain got them, kill me. All right. Uh, so let's say you have an open. Oh no, let's. No, it's uh, back. <laughs> back to here. Um, if it's open, um, I would suggest to, you know, put one in each hand, all right, and try to have one high and one low. Okay, so don't have them at the same height. Uh, it'll be a little bit awkward. So have one high and one low. So if your parasol is in this hand, so this hand back can be low. So that can, uh, that can be a look really cute, really easy. Again, I'm angling my body this way. Um, and I can also choose to highlight the back, right? Or sideline the back, if you just want to focus on the dress. Uh, so again, you can highlight the back or you can sideline it. Um, if you have a shoulder bag, I recommend, I recommend hooking through, right? And this, you know, looks the most natural because it looks like you're just walking around. So. This would be poking through, again, tugging the elbow in, keeping this up here, um, really simple. So one high thing and one low thing. Oh, again, you can choose to uh, highlight it, like you can, you can show off the bag, and then you, or you can just put it away and focus on the dress. Next thing is if you have a closed parasol, if you're indoors and don't wanna commit uh, sins against the ring god, you can keep it closed. And what you can do is with your handbag, I would recommend putting it on the kind of the again, like a little bit away from the, the crease, a little bit out, so that it forces you to um, kind of have your arm out a little bit more. Um, so you can have the, again, one low thing and then one slightly higher thing for now. So you can, again, you can choose to highlight the bag or you can choose to sideline it. And I should pose better with my feet. That. Um, if you have a shoulder bag, um, unfortunately for a shoulder bag, there isn't much you can do besides just putting your thumb through the strap, but I'll demonstrate it again. So the problem here is that you have two things that are towards the lower side. So I would actually choose to highlight the bag just to make it more interesting. Okay. What if you have two handbags? You hand one bag to your good friend and pose with one bag at a time. Um, uh, if you have, okay, yeah, because I would say it, it kind of messes with the look sometimes. I mean, I could try, this is a live panel, so if I have two bags like this, I have two bags like this. If you have two bags, I would choose one to highlight uh, at one point. So, um, for here, I would choose to highlight the shoulder bag and then put this more to the side and even kind of like hide it a little bit. Um, and then if I want to highlight this one, I would highlight this bag and then put this one to the side. Um, 
I say this a lot because, you know, if you're trying to focus on too many things, try to show off too many things at once, it just ends up looking, your, your hands start getting into really awkward angles and it looks a little bit awkward. So that's why I say always choose one thing to highlight in your shot. You know, you can, you can, you can always pose more pictures. I mean, that's a, that's a, that's always an option. Um, there is a Q&A after, uh, but if I missed any questions, feel free to spam them um, afterwards as well. Uh, show off backpacks by backing it up. Yes, that is true. I, uh, oh, the backpack is somewhere else, but maybe next time. Uh, next thing is hats. So where's my hat? Okay, there's a hat. I'm going to try this really. Can I put this hat on without? All right. Um, all right, this is this will have to do. Um, I'm not really. <laughs> I didn't have a hairstyle that works for hats. Um, but for a hat, uh, again, just make sure to check your hair. If you have bangs like me, usually hats uh, tend to squash them down. So just check your bangs, check to make sure your hair is okay. Um, if your if your hat is on your head, uh, a really classic one is to put it on the brim. Uh, what I like to do is tilt back, so that thing like the sun is this way, and you're kind of tilting your head towards the sun, and you can catch good light with that. Um, the hat, depending on what it is, can cast shadow sometimes. So, you know, you might have to adjust it, like tilt it back a little bit more. Even though that's not how you're wearing it, you want to tilt it back so that it shows more of your face, so that it casts less of a shadow on your face. So you can put the hand on the brim. This is really easy. Um, you can put the hand behind the back. So if you feel conscious about putting your hand here, you can put it behind the back. Kind of like it's being, the, the hat is being blown away. So you can just put it behind like this so you can hide it. Um, again, I like to tilt a little bit back so that it looks like it's the, the, there's, uh, the hat is being uh, blown away like this. So kind of tilting back a little bit. Um, you can also put both hands behind. Um, not my favorite. I mean, you can put both hands on the brim. On the brim. I would recommend putting one in front and putting one in the back. Or if you want to put both hands behind, just make sure that one is higher than the other. So this hand is actually kind of touching like the back of my head. So that works as well if you want to pose it with the hats. Um, if you're also, you can just hold the hat. Uh, that's fine. Uh, there's the uh, on your chest. So you can like hold it on your chest if you want to. Uh, this works really well with like a really cute hat to sh kind of just show it off. Um, I don't recommend holding it like a baby, like to the side, like, I don't know, it's kind of military-ish, I guess, but not for a cute hat like this. Um, also, you can just, you know, hold it low, like, like hanging, like kind of put it in the front, kind of, kind of like a bag. So I hold it by the brim and then kind of choose to highlight it or again, choose to sideline it. So maybe kind of towards here. So you can choose to highlight it. You can hold it with both hands, or you can put it on the side. So those are all the good options uh, for hats. Uh, next is Fluffy Friend. Um, so fluff, I have lots of fluffy friends here. Um, if you have a small fluffy friend, small fluffy friend, um, I actually like having them chilling out in like a shoulder bag or a handbag. So I'm going to put one friend here. So I like having them <laughs> sinking. Um, I like having them hanging out in, in the bag like this. Um, and then when you're posing, when you're posing with like a shoulder bag, you can choose to, you can, you can uh, show off your bag and also show off your fluffy friend uh, at the same time. So like this, I like this for smaller ones. Uh, you can't pose with them, um, but they just a little bit too small. Um, so uh, at the bottom it says, you know, it's best to pose with your fluffy friend for a portrait. Um, but if you do have to take a full photo, I would say put them in your bag so you can chill out right here. Okay. Um, this also works for the handbag as well. Um, 
let me grab a normal size fluffy friend. Uh, hello. Um, so a really easy one is just to put them in front. So um, again, you don't want to squash your dress. So actually, if you see, I'm putting my elbows in and my arms are forward. You can't really see that in, from the front, but from the side, it's pretty obvious. So I'm just putting them down in the front, down in front like this. Um, uh, you can also do puppeteer, so you can like hold their hold their hands and like make them wave or something like that, like that. Um, it's really cute. So if you want to like make them wave at someone, um, one thing for all of these though is check the eye lines. So that means your eye line, like are you looking at your camera, and also whether your fluffy friend is looking at the camera as well. Um, all fluffy friends, uh, bless their nature. Uh, look a little derpy. <laughs> That's just how they are. That's just how they are made. They're they're made to look cute, um, but it can sometimes looks like they are trying to free themselves from their cotton prison and trying to get away from from whatever humans around them. Um, so you know, make sure that when you're posing with them, um, that they're not like looking off into the oblivion. So you know, kind of angle them towards. Uh, towards the camera a little bit or towards you a little bit more so that they don't look like they're trying to escape. Um, so if you have a puppeteer, make sure the eye lines are okay, uh, maybe a little bit lower. <laughs> yeah, so a uh, tendency is to like tilt them up so that they're looking up as well. So make sure, let me get a little bit closer. So making sure that they're looking in the right direction, um, even that in the front, making sure they're not like tilting up too much. <laughs> like they're ready to ascend, you know, making sure that they're looking looking forward uh, for you and for your fluffy friend. Uh, can't guarantee they'll stay. <laughs> um, there's face to face. Again, this is better for portraits. So you can put, put them, you know, your face next to their face and you can look at each other. So again, tilt them towards, towards in, not like out, because then they look like they want to escape. So tilt them in. You know, that would be much cuter. <laughs> yeah, the, this this cotton is uh, very limiting. Um, oh, uh, last one is for big friends. <sighs> so I have really like my hair. Uh, I have this uh, over arm hold. Um, main thing for big ones is that you don't want you want to hold them gently. You don't want to look like you're squeezing them too much. Um, so we want to hold them as gently as possible or look like you're holding them as gently as possible. So one easy one is an overarm hold. So I'm going to put, put the hands over my arm so that they look like they're holding. Uh, again, you know, a very soft hand. And then, and then from here, you know, don't need to squish them too much. They are already in the prison of their own cotton cottony body um, so you know have them hang out you know little bit, hold them a little bit away from your body don't have to hold it up against you uh, hold it a little bit away from your body check their eye lines make sure they're looking and then you can pose with them you can hold their hands hold their hands you can lean towards them again checking their eye lines making sure they're not looking away checking making sure they're looking at the camera as well so this is a really easy hold as well. Give the bear space. <laughs> yeah. Um, just for this event, I do have a special fluffy friend. Uh, this is, I hope it's okay to name drop. This is from Inky Drop. Uh, this is their gorgeous star wall. Um, I also have a necklace as well uh, from, from them. They're beautiful and gorgeous. Um, again, for, you know, if it's not a traditional bear, bear type, um, and it's like a more uh, <laughs> this kind of shape. Uh, you can do, still do all those poses. I would just say that when you're holding uh, your fluffy friend, you know, try to be delicate. So from here, I'm gonna put like a little, put them on my palm a little bit, and then from here, kind of cradle, cradle a bit, kind of angle them in. You know, not out, not like straight forward, but angle them in a little bit to show that gorgeous body. Um, here, again, you can also um, show off your hands as well, so you don't have to put it flat. You can also show off under your fluffy friend, uh, if your fluffy friend is this shape. Um, from here, you can pose with them as well. 
So again, you want to show off your hand and also hold them delicately enough so that they don't look like they're, they're trying to free themselves. Okay, you can also do face to face. This one's a little bit harder. So face to face. Again, you want to hold them as delicately as possible. Only it was a bag. Yeah, th I think there was some talk of making uh, Star Wall uh, bags as well. Uh, that would be awesome. I know there were pouches made and there was also a small version. So they could, they could kind of stack. It's the Mama Star Wall and the Baby Star Wall. Yes. Yeah, so when you're posing with your fluffy friends, please be gentle. Uh, because, uh, and also check where they're looking. Uh, next, uh, chairs. Oh, fun part, chairs. So this was something that was quite requested last time. So I'm gonna do it, do it this time. Uh, for chairs, uh, the main thing is only sit on half of them. Um, all chair poses are not how you actually sit in chairs. If you're sitting in a chair and someone takes a photo, it's going to look bad. Um, so only sit on half of it. So if you have a regular chair, I'm sorry, it's not very aesthetic. Um, I'm going to sit on half of it. So from the side, if you can see, I'm just going to sit kind of maybe here. So that part is not used. Um, when I'm here, uh, please check your posture. Uh, a lot of times when they sit on the chair, you know, they lean back and that's fine because you're supposed to use this back to support your back. That's what it's there for. But when you're posing, make sure your posture is good. Uh, really pick, use your core. You're going to use your um, core muscles and kind of tighten a little bit just to have that really nice posture. So I'm going to put the back. Okay. Um, so for regular chairs, um, I'm sitting on half of them. Hope you can still see. Uh, make sure to fan out your dress. This is actually kind of hard. So I'm trying to trying to switch down the petticoat in the front and kind of move it to the sides. Um, you can cross ankles. Uh, you can, so you can, uh, see. So you can put your uh, feet together like this, or you could cross, uh, no, other side, no, this side, this side. You could cross them as well if you want to. Um, for your upper body, again, have that really good posture. Um, easy one would be from here from here. So again, making a line with your body is kind of like a straight line from your head to your toe. Um, or if you want, you can do a little bit more of a back lean. Um, here's a tip. If you're, if you've got a weak core or a weak back, uh, and you still want to do this pose, you take your uh, free hand and you put it on the chair, you hold onto that chair and you can also use it to push yourself up like that. So you can push yourself up like that and then just pose with the rest so you can't see this arm but it's right there supporting me and kind of giving me that uh, posture boost okay so you can do that um, I just recommend you know don't sit straight in a chair and just do that because it's very boring and you don't even get to show off your dress so you kind of angle your legs to the side like this okay and then you can do uh, like this, or like this, or you can do a back lean. If you need help, you can use your free hand to push yourself up for that. Chair Olympics, yes. Strong arm, yeah. I do have some core strength left, so uh, it's fine. Uh, speaking of core strength, next thing is going to be even harder is a chair or a stool. Um, so this one, the chair is already small, so you, you're even, you're just going to sit on the edge of it. Um, so for this one, you really just got to tighten those glutes, actually. So what I'm going to do is just tighten my glutes, tighten my, my frame. Uh, for this one, it's really hard to cross your ankles at this point. So just make sure that both legs are out here. Kind of make sure, making sure that, um, your stomach is in so that you're not you're not like belting out. I know it's, you can't really see it with the dress, but you can tell from the energy of the shot. So making sure this part is in, your legs can be out. 
Okay. Again, if you need to, you can use your arm to for supports behind you, and then you can pose from here, or you can lean forward as well. Uh, up to you, which one you want to do. This one you can also. Uh, I don't really like that. Yeah, I would recommend putting it out, P putting the legs together and then pushing it out for that, or a back lean as well. You can also do here if you really want to, um, but it's just hard to show off the dress in um, in that position. Um, yeah, so use your hand for support. <laughs> can you sit straight on in the chair? <laughs> Oh, uh, this chat is way too much. Yes. Yeah, yeah, use your butt. Use your glutes, so. Use your glutes. Really tighten them. Um, and then and then do your posing. So you can do down in front. I would angle your body so it matches your legs. And then from here. If you want, you can use it for here. Um, for fainting couches, I don't have a fainting couch, uh, which is... A travesty. So if anyone wants to donate so that I get a fainting couch in here, that would be great. But um, I'm not going to do too much. These are actually more joke <laughs> suggestions. Um, yeah, if you have a fainting couch, you need to faint all over it. Um, you know, when you, uh, I know there are like a couple hotels, they also have they always have some fainting couches. Uh, that's what they're for. Uh, in the past, when people wore um, like corsets are too tight and they get lightheaded, you know, they would faint on those couches. That's why they're there. Uh, we don't have that problem, not so much anymore. But if you are going to have a fainting couch, you know, please feel free to faint all over it. Just feel that fantasy. If you need to feel, if you're, if you need that core, uh, you can support your, support yourself, push yourself up and then just full faint. So I'm trying to make a straight line from my head to my to my uh, toe right here, and and just feel that full faint. Someone give me some water. Give me a fan. Perfect. So, yeah, if you have access to one of those, please do those poses. Those would be great. Faint. Yes. Feed me some grapes. Um, next part, uh, we are going to move on to portraits. Um, I'm going to explain first why, what the, what the differences are between taking a full body shot and uh, portraits, and then I'll go over some simple poses and some dramatic poses. Uh, why portraits? Um, because once it's a little bit close up, you get more possibilities. Uh, you can do different poses. Um, so a lot of times I see people posing for a full body shot like this, like with like peace signs or something. And it looks cute, but um, it's a little bit too small and it's too restrictive. Um, so it doesn't really work, but it works really well if you get a little bit closer. You know, that works really well. Um, so there are lots of some poses that work much better, especially when you have both hands near your face area. Uh, taking a close-up shot would work much better than a full body shot. Uh, you can also experiments with different angles you can do up top you know not really down low that's not really an often one but you can mess around the different angles as well you know from the side from angled up top you know you can mess around with those, those things and you can also you know get different lighting so let's say you know this spot in wherever you are is really good for taking full body shots but maybe not so good for f portraits because you need better light for your face so you get to mess around with different lightings um, uh, that way. And if you have an Instagram, it's more content. You need that content, take tons of portraits, you know, post it whenever. It's just more content. Um, so what I'm going to do is I am going to uh, move the camera so that it is in a close up shot. Thank you for following whatever that is. go um, and I'm going to sit down for this okay perfect um, actually I recommend not sitting down when you're doing portraits so that you could use more of your full body um, but for for now I have to sit down just for the camera's sake 
Um, so for simple, these are some very simple poses that you can do. Um, most of these are meant to show off your accessories and any sort of details that you have in your outfit. Um, another thing is make sure you're bearing your head tilt. So, you know, tilting this way, this way, looking up, looking down, looking to the side, just to see, you know, what works for you. Um, so for sweet, uh, we have the peace signs. So, yay. Um, for this, I like to uh, really flex my fingers. So this is not flexing and this is really flexing just to make your fingers look a little bit longer. Again, this is okay close up because uh, it's not so from far away. Uh, you can also do cat paws. Okay. So the uh, main thing for those is try to keep your elbows in. Um, don't keep them too wide. You know, try to still keep them in so that uh, you're still looking a little bit compact and avoiding those like really harsh uh, angles. So keep them in. Uh, small face. Uh, this one's really easy. If you don't know what to pose, you can just put your hand just to hide your face. To, so making like you have a smaller face. So that one's really easy. Um, and then uh, if you are really shy, <laughs> Uh, you don't want to have a close-up. You can put your hands over your eyes, so this way is a really easy way to to show off your rings or accessories. Again, I'm trying to drop my elbows a little bit so that they're not too far out. So trying to drop them a little bit. Kind of get the shoulders in. And also, really important for any of these close-ups to have really good posture as well. So I'm trying to sit up as much as possible like this. Um, my favorite is from the Gyaru days is when they have the peace sign and they put it right over their face. This is so far my favorite and I still use this sometimes. Um, for classic or elegant uh, looks, uh, there's the classic thinking, so kind of the thinking face. So make sure you bear your head tilt, you know, depend on what you're thinking, like what am I going to do for dinner, you know. Who am I going to murder next? What country do you invade next? You know, depending on what you want. Uh, so vary your head tilt with that. Uh, another simple one is uh, interlace fingers. So keeping your fingers really, really soft, uh, interlacing them like this. So interlacing and then putting them uh, towards your face. You can lean towards it or you can go away from it. This is a really easy one as well for a really elegant look. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, oh, gothic. Oh, dark, more darker or gothic. There's the classic prayer hands. Um, again, make sure your elbows are not too wide, uh, making sure to drop them. And you can lean, you know, you can lean like away from it for like small sins, you know, that you know, you shoplifted and stole a candy bar or something. Or like you can lean towards it for like more, you know, more bigger sins like, I don't know, war crimes or something. So you can tilt back or you can tilt forward. Uh, again, keeping your elbows in for that. Um, pray to the mana pose. Yes, uh, speaking of mana poses, this next one uh, I got from looking at all these mana pictures. Um, uh, <laughs> Mana really likes to do this pose, which is putting your hand across your chest like this. And I think the idea is to show off the details on the arm and the accessories. But I see this a lot, so you're just kind of crossing your, your hand. Again, you can turn towards the camera a little bit as well to show off more of the details on the side. Uh, and last one is, uh, I got this from someone uh, someone suggested this. It's got an evil eye, so you just put one hand over one eye. And again, you can look at the camera, or you can look down, or look to the side. So this kind of kind of darker look as well. Um, again, I would just suggest dropping the elbow, keeping it a little bit more in. So those are some very simple uh, poses. Uh, next one, these are more dramatic. Um, for these, you really need to uh, check your posture, even though this is a close-up of the portrait. Um, what I say is, when you look at a picture, you can feel the energy of that person. You can feel 
what they are like. So if you are, uh, if you don't have good posture, even though they can't really see it, they can really feel it through the picture. Um, so for these ones, it's a little bit harder, but make sure you're checking your posture. Uh, have some tension in your fingers. So like I said, you know, really flexing them uh, so that they look longer. Um, and also, if you want to, you can contrast with your shoulders. You know, you could you could twist away for more dramatic effect if you want to. So even this could work. Uh, for sweet or pop, you can wink. Um, I can't believe I, I'm going to say this, but don't wink in a full body picture. <laughs> At least I don't know how people make it look good. <laughs> um, but yeah, in a close-up shot, you can wink. I'm very bad at winking, so... Oh, God. I, I can't do it. <laughs> but you can wink. Um, also, if you want more posing ideas, uh, look up like idle poses. Um, they have really good, like, usually you have one hand kind of closer to the camera, and then one hand, one hand to them, or like, or like a cheerleader one, right? Or like, or like, I don't know, whatever idle poses. So, uh, those things, uh, you definitely need more of the posture, so, you know, is the shoulders like kind of up and excited? Or are they more uh, lower for like other things? Um, so those kind of poses would also work. Uh, for classic or elegant, um, I have my heart, so kind of just putting two hands together and like putting it towards your heart. I think this is a more difficult pose because you want to have really beautiful fingers, so kind of want to think like kind of pushing out and then bringing it in so that uh, your fingers still look good. Uh, otherwise, it just looks like you're doing this. So you, you need to have really uh, kind of have a straight line with your wrist, with your fingers, kind of push them out, really nice tension in your fingers, and then you can have uh, this pose. I'm not actually like, I'm not actually touching my heart, it's just, it's just pretending uh, so that I can keep that nice wrist uh, straight. Uh, there's also a self hug, so uh, it's a little bit harder to see. So kind of one hand down low and one hand in the front, uh, up top, like this. You can put it on your face. So this one would would also work for more elegant posts. Uh, for gothic, uh, there's the major headache, so just like. You have a headache. Uh, the day's not going well. So really good if you tilt back uh, for this one. Major headache. Uh, curse the sun. Uh, so kind of blocking the sun. You know, like, or don't talk to me. That kind of thing. Uh, you can also do, do both as well. The sun, yes, curse the sun. Um, and the last one is bloodless. This is my favorite. Um, really good if you have nails. It's like a, like a vampire who just had like their first drop of blood for after like a month or something. So, so it's like you want to kind of scrunch up your fingers a little bit, but not too much. Not like claws, but scrunch up your fingers a little bit and just put it in your face and just <sighs> good blood. You know that kind of look. Um, or just a fly, you know, like an insect who just got their first human blood after a while. Same thing, same difference uh, for that. Um, yeah, well, if you want to be goth, these poses would make you extra... Yeah, so those are the poses. Um, these are some final tips. Um, when you are posing, again, step into a pose. Um, if you're holding a pose for too long, it tends to look uh, very tight and um, it tends to look pretty tight and your muscles are tensing. So try to step in the pose right before they take a po picture, you know, go three, two, one, you know, around the two, you want to step into it and, and strike your pose. Um, be patient. Um, for every picture that you see uh, on Instagram or basically for anything, for every picture, there's probably 30, 50 photos that were taken just for that one shot. So uh, be patient, you know, have a good friend help you, you know, take all those shots, um, uh, hoping that they, they won't get mad and until you get your perfect shots. Um, 
Another thing is,、uh, I say a good friend is because for Lolita,、uh, J- some some J fashions you want to、um, angle it at the right, kind of like、uh, at the right angle. So a lot of times when people take pictures, they take it at the eye level, and that actually makes you look shorter because they're looking down. So what they need to do is lower lower the camera by their waist, or、um, the best thing they could do is just to I'll just put it here, just to like squat down right here and take the picture that way. That would be the best thing that they could do.、Um, last thing is、uh, practice makes perfect.、Um, For now, if you're if you're still unsure about your posing, pick two or three poses that you like, and just practice them、um, in front of a mirror so that you have a few go-to poses that you can do.、Um, and last is to have fun.、Um, I cover some of the props here, but you know if you're at a location or somewhere and there's something、uh, really fun, you know feel free to interact with it. You know maybe it's under a tree, or maybe it's like a street lamp. Uh, you know, all those things you can interact with,、uh, and to make it more fun.、Um, and I think that is it. I've made it on time. I have eight minutes to spare for some、uh, Q and A. So thank you all very much for coming.、Uh, there is a、uh, there. Is, I do have a few minutes, so I probably missed a lot of questions.、Um, so. Uh, yeah. Any questions? I love some tips. On oh, taking pictures by yourself.、Um, yeah, I mean everyone now has a has a great camera.、Um, I would recommend if you're taking pictures by yourself, do get a tripod. Um, uh, that would that's going to help you a lot.、Um, I also have a clicker, like a Bluetooth clicker that I use with the tripod, so that I would、um, set up my tripod. And then I would connect it with the clicker, and then I would set a timer. So like a ten second timer, it would count down. I strike the pose, do it again. I do it like thirty times, check the pictures, and see what I like from there. So I definitely recommend getting a tripod if you're going to take pictures by yourself.、Um, yes, give us your Insta. My Insta is Plentiful Pie.、Uh, mods, please drop that、um, on there. Uh, did I miss any questions? Better way to pose with hime sleeves. Ooh, hime sleeves. That's a that's a tricky one.、Um, I would okay. I'll, I'll get back up a little bit. So for hime sleeves,、uh, they tend to kind of flow. So again, I would treat I would treat it kind of like a bag.、Um, is do you want to highlight your sleeves? Do you want to show them off? So to show them off, you would angle your body a little bit and kind of show off maybe just one side of it just to let it flow. Or you want to sideline it, so you want to put it a little bit more away and focus more on your dress.、Um, I, so I would choose it to, whether you want to highlight it or sideline it and make sure that it is all flowing as well.、Um, they don't hime sleeves are. Kind of meant to be like up here, so you know if you're going to if you want one hand up and you don't want both hands up, you can put the other hand、uh, by your side.、Um, some people do this really awkward thing where they hold like hold like both hands out. I'm not not a big fan of that because it looks too purposeful. So I would put it in and and choose to show show off of it, show off the sleeve, or if you don't want to, you know, put it on the side. So that's my answer.、Um, facial posing. I'm not sure what that means.、Um, Test for posing face. Oh, okay.、Um, so I purposefully left that off because I personally don't really like how I look.、Uh, um, you know, doing facial facial poses either. I'm just gonna say that all of you are beautiful, and whatever your face is, it's fine. It's perfect. You're all beautiful. So don't worry about it. If it bothers you, just put a sticker on your face. There are lots of cute stickers.、Um, in terms of,、uh, there are some tips about、uh, if you want to eliminate, like、uh, tighten your chin, is to push your tongue towards the roof of your mouth. That will tighten up this muscle here.、Um, and also, from my background,、um, I try to make my neck、uh, as 
long as possible. So what that means is, you know, getting your shoulders down, which is why I said avoid having your elbows out here because that raises your shoulders and also scrunches up your neck area. So just tilt it down and then if you want to, you can tighten up these muscles um, to make a longer neck look. I would say focus more on everything else uh, rather than just your face. Um, yeah. Uh, how to keep your face and not blink too much. Yeah, that's why you take 30 photos um, uh, for that. Uh, again, you can also vary where you look. So um, I realize that sometimes it's really hard to look at, right at the camera. So I would recommend, you know, looking to the side, looking up a little bit, looking down a little bit, uh, and varying how much you face towards the camera and to find your good angle uh, so that, you know, you, you have something if you don't like, you know, your face doing that. Um, where's my blouse and shoes from? Uh, my blouse is from Pumpkin, no wait, no. Magic Stories, I'm a Taobao brand. Uh, this dress is from Pumpkin Cats, it's called Bulbous, Bulbous Whales Are Not Good To Eat. Um, and I have, sh my shoes, I forgot where my shoes are from. They're from Taobao a long time ago. I bought a bunch of shoes in different colors a long time ago and just been wearing them since. Um, how often do I stream here? Um, I usually stream here, but I'm playing Tetris and Mahjong. So if you like Tetris and Mahjong, welcome. Um, I'm also thinking of streaming more uh, in, in the future, maybe doing some nail stuff. I just started um, doing some nails because I'm bored. So I might do that in the future. Um, how many war crimes have I committed? Mm, that's a good question. Uh, I, I don't think I've committed any war crimes yet, but it's too early to tell. So don't don't count me. Don't don't quote me on that. Um, do you have any tips for plus size people posing? Okay, um, I could still take that question. Um, uh, for most most of that is you want to show off your best feature. Um, I'm not plus size, so take take it with a grain of salt. Um, but most of it, the the most the biggest problem I see is that they're not. Oh, I'll, I'll move this back a little bit. Sorry to see my mess. <laughs> um, the biggest problem I see is that they are not. Uh, the the first thing I said is to minimize your leg line. So kind of make your legs look as small as possible. Not because they're plus size, but just because the shape of the dress is so poofy, you want to accentuate that. So what I would recommend is kind of crossing the legs. And if you can't do that, just keeping your knees together. So even keeping your knees together and just pointing, you can turn out one leg like this. Uh, even that would look uh, much better. Another mistake a lot of people do is they put one one leg in front of the other, so it looks like they have one big knee. That happens to me too, that's not just um, plus size people. So they would do that. So try to keep your both knees, try to keep both knees visible, but also uh, turn that out a little bit so that you can see it. So that way. Um, and the thing is with your arms, um, a lot of times they just, you know, like put in the front, like squash down the dress. Um, so you can, you can always put it behind. Um, one thing is to, to kind of show off that line is put your elbows in where your dress is. So this is your, oh, I have a high waist, but normally it would be on the waist. So put that elbow in and then put your arm like following the shape of the dress. Uh, that actually looks a lot more flattering sometimes. So from that would be good. Or if you don't want to hold the dress, you can put, you can just move your hand a little bit in front without disturbing the shape of the dress. That would also work well. So a lot of times it's just knowing what to highlight, what to focus on um, for that. Um, I think my time is up. Uh, do you have any tips for posing with animals? I actually don't really like animals, so I don't have any tips for that. But if anybody has tips, um, uh, maybe next time. Maybe next time. Yes, how not to pose with animals, that would be good. 
Um, so I do think I have to wrap up for now. Uh, it is time for me. So thank you very much all for coming. Um, there is a panel uh, feedback form that is posted in the Discord channel. I'm also in the Discord channel as well. So if you have any other questions, uh, feel free to uh, hit me up on that. I'm on there uh, on Discord as well as on Instagram as Pendiful Pie. So thank you very much for coming. Thank you. And I hope everybody has a great day and have a great Sea of Serenity weekend. Bye. Okay, stop hosting me. Oh, I have to end the stream myself. Okay, fine. <laughs>